Hi guys, welcome to a new video. So for this one I'm showing you how I make repeating patterns which I really enjoy doing because they don't take too long and it's a lot of fun to just make a cute little thing in a bunch of different colours. Um, so for this one I did a, a design with potions and some herbs and a little sparkly thingy. So I basically just uh, do the design in Corel Painter, which is the program that I use to do my digital art. Um, and I just did a nice clean little drawing and then I uh, saved it as a PNG like with, with a transparent background and put that into Inkspace. And then I used Object to Path to make it, all the little pieces into vectors. Um, so basically what I do is I just make a little square canvas and then I just put everything where I want it to be and it's a lot of trial and error just to make things look good. So basically when you're doing repeating patterns you want the all the images that are on the edge to be uh, mirrored on the other side I guess. So if something's coming off the edge then you want the piece that's off the edge to be the piece that's on the opposite side basically. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Um, so what that does is when you make it into a pattern then there's like a seamless line between all the little sections that are the, pit, the, the piece that you drew basically um, and then that way you can't see where the border of the pattern is and it looks really nice and smooth so I just like to move things around um, I try not to put any of the same elements too close to each other because then you can sort of notice the pattern sometimes. So I'm actually going to link a tutorial that I watched to learn how to make patterns below because I <laughs> tried doing a voiceover explaining how I do this and I just sort of did not know how to talk about it. I'm very bad at explaining things. Um, so when I'm doing repeating patterns I like to sort of fiddle around with it and then um, I'll sort of do a little test so I'll like make a copy of what I've already done and then turn that into a pattern after grouping all the objects together and then I'll look at it on a larger piece to see if there's any gaps that I need to fill or if anything uh, looks too obvious that it's repeating. Or like if anything that's, if I put like two of the same thing too close to each other, because sometimes you sort of lose track of that if something's on one side and something's on the other side, but then when you make it into a pattern, they're next to each other. So here I'm just doing a little test. So you can see there's a couple of little gaps there that I'd like to fill in and I just sort of move things around if anything's too close to something else. Um, yeah, it's good to look at how it looks as a whole and then you can sort of adjust the pattern from there. And you might notice I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. <laughs> so I just go back and forth, back and forth seeing what looks a little bit empty, what's maybe a little bit too dense, and just adjusting it many many times. So it takes me about an hour to do one of these normally. The simpler ones an hour definitely, this one maybe took I think two hours to do, but I really like how it came out, it was a really cute little potion design. And here's how the finished pattern looks, so that's just one square, and this is how it looks as a repeating pattern. And here's some examples of products that I sell it on, on Redbubble and Society6. I also wanted to do a cute little design that just had something a bit more simple, so I've just got a little row of all the four potions there, I thought it would look really cute on a t-shirt, or like a little pencil case or something. So I've done that, and I also did the same thing with the little herbs. So for this one I just did simple black and white 
just in a row. adjustments to whether he's perfect and here it looks very cute and here's how it looks on a t-shirt so I've got these designs uploaded to my stores on size 6 and Redbubble there's a link in the description if anyone's interested and yeah thanks for watching guys have a good day or night or whatever <laughs> bye